Okay, so yesterday I went to my new psychiatrist because the other one didn't know what he was talking about. Um, and uh, he took me off three of my medications. He took me off the olanzapine, which is an antipsychotic. He took off he took me off lamictal because it wasn't working. It was used for the wrong reason. And he took me off bistolic because I also have syncope. And if my blood pressure drops, I'm going to pass out. Um, which has happened. I ended up in the hospital because of it. Because I passed out in Walmart really bad. Um, he took me off those three. But he put me on two more. Yeah, two more. And he up he... He gave me a higher dose of one of them, so now I'm taking hydroxyzine. I'm taking four, no, three of those. So 75 milligrams of this every night. And I don't really have a lot left. Um, this is my citalopram. Oh, hydroxy sleeping pill. Citalopram is an antidepressant, and I'm taking 40 milligrams of it now. I was taking... Um, I think 15 milligrams, but he upped it to 40. So I'm taking that. Then I'm taking... Hold on. I don't even know what these are. Oh, clonopin. I'm taking clonopin now. I'm taking 0.5 milligrams. Um, these are actually... They're very pink. Pink pills. So I'm taking that. And the last one is... Uh, it's called... I'm going to screw this up. It's called Ziprazidone, 80 milligrams. It looks like this. That's an, a new antipsychotic. Um, and then to help with sleep, I'm taking these little melatonin things, which are actually pretty good. They're, they're little tablets like this that you put on your tongue and they dissolve and they taste like strawberries. They're very good. And... They're not so much a sleeping pill as they are. Um, they calm you down and they kind of um, let you slow down and get to the, um, they like slow your mind so your mind's not racing constantly and you can't relax and all that stuff. Like all the stuff you go through all the day and you can't just lay down because your body still wants to do stuff and this helps, that helps you calm down. Um, he said that the... What was it? Um, I think it was the... Look, I don't even know. Ziprazidone would help with my tremors, hopefully, because they're really bad now. I can't even... I tried to put on eyeliner, and I got it now, but, like, even if I try, it's like... You see my head shakes. Um, I have a lot of trouble putting my contacts in or out. Um, I can't, uh, write my name without shaking. I was actually in class today and we had a lab in biology and we were putting together a double helix of a DNA strand using like beads and I was trying to pop it in place and my hands were shaking and the guy was like, why are your hands so shaking bad? And it's kind of embarrassing. Um, especially when I get piercings, like my nose and my industrial and all that and my tongue, when I get them pierced. When they pierced it, my head would start shaking and I can't hold it still. And like with this one, when he, he pierced it with a hoop, he actually had to hold my head, like physically hold my hand to clamp it on because my head wouldn't stay still. And it's it gets very embarrassing after a while because people think you're just, you know, have no tolerance for pain or anything, which I mean, I do. I've got like 17 piercings and getting my seventh tattoo tomorrow, so, or sixth. I don't know. I think, yeah, it's six because this my whole arm is my fifth. And so, um, so yeah, my tremors are, they're, they're pretty bad. Um, that's why I was put on the bistolic, but because of the bistolic, it dropped my blood pressure. And when I passed out, ended up in the hospital, my blood pressure was below 70. And when I went back, they actually said that I shouldn't be alive. 
They said my, I told them my blood pressure was below 70 and they looked at me and they were like, how are you still here? How are you still alive? So thank you, God. I am still here. Um, so yeah, he was going to put me on Abilify, which if you guys don't know, you take that with an antidepressant and it helps even more. Um, the Zeprazidone. Yeah, it's a president. Also helps with hearing voices. Oh, it just says take with food. I just noticed that. I didn't take it with food last night. Um, yeah, it helps with hearing things and seeing things and stuff like that. Okay. And, um, so yeah, that helps a lot. Well, I, it, I hope it will. I haven't I've only taken it once. I just started all this yes last night. Um, so... Now I'm up to six pills a night, which is a lot better than the eight. Um, oh, he also, he was talking to me and he said that um, from his point of view, it looks like I have manic depressive disorder, which some of you don't know, some of you, hello, some of you do know, that's bipolar disorder, which you can have along with borderline. A lot of people, a lot of, um, doctors see a person with borderline they assume it's just bipolar disorder because there's a lot of similarities but you can have both usually you most of the time you do have both usually you can have both or you can you can just have I was diagnosed with borderline personality with major depressive disorder which is just an extreme form of depression but now my psychiatrist is saying I have manic depression, which kind of makes sense because when I was younger, I was probably like 12, my psychiatrist wanted, um, he thought I was bipolar and he was going to put me on lithium and all this stuff and um, he eventually said I didn't have it. He just said I had depression. So I was diagnosed with clinical depression when I was like nine. Um, so yeah, and my hair, my hair is more blonde now, so I'm still trying to get used to that. Um, and I am getting my new tattoo tomorrow. I'm excited. It's a Marilyn Monroe tattoo, so and it's going to go on my wrist. So, yay for more wrist tattoos. And also, sad day. Go away. The screen on my phone cracked. I was so upset. It hit the ground like this, even with the case it broke. Anyways, okay, I'm done rambling. So, if anyone else has any questions, just let me know. Bye.